Hey guys, Jack here, and uh, today I have a very important uh, video for you. It's uh, going to be a tutorial on how to get rid of the Skype virus for 2013. Um, this virus is not new, actually. It's been going around for about a couple years, um, but it has made a um, appearance, reappearance, I guess you could say. Um, and there's been different variations of it because people think it's a good idea. Um, it's actually pretty smart how the person made it, um, so many people are copying it. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to show you how to get rid of the one for 2013. Um, I'm going to open up my Skype, and uh, I'll be blocking out everyone's name. Um, but this is my brother, and as you can see, I got it. Um, sent it to my brother, and then my brother got it, sends it to me. And as you can see, I got rid of it, but then my brother still had it, and I just got rid of it for him. But um, yeah, so basically what it does is someone started out with the virus, and then um, what happens is... You'll click the link, and it'll bring you to a download, and you download it, and then you open it up, and there's an .exe file in there. So I didn't open it because I knew that the, it was an .exe, not a .png, um, or a .jpg, but somehow I still got it, and uh, yeah. But then once you open that, it sends this to everyone on your list, everyone on your friends list, or your contacts on Skype, um, and then it just continues to uh, just continues to um, go and it's it's actually a pretty good idea but well, like it's a good idea but it's not really a good thing um it's clever that's what that's what it is so <clears throat> i'm going to show you guys how to get rid of it um pretty it's pretty easy but sometimes it can be a little complicated uh, sometimes it just doesn't want to go away um i got rid of it a different way than the way i'm going to show you but mainly because i don't remember the way i got rid of it um i went into safe mode and all that but i'm going to show you the way that worked for my brother so <clears throat> Yeah, what we're going to want to do first is we're going to want to go to Skype and go to Tools, Options, Advanced, Manage Other Programs, Access to Skype, and then you're going to want to select all of them and hit Remove. All right. Um, now you might see fake U-Torn things or Team Viewer, especially things. I think it began with an H or an S or a B, like random letters and numbers. Just get rid of those. Um, unless you have like a voice changer or something in there that you know that you trust. Then hit close that and hit save. Uh, make sure you hit save. Now what you're going to want to do is close Skype, quit Skype completely. Um, you're going to want to go to the link in the description and download malware bytes, anti-malware. We'll get to that in a little while. So once you quit Skype, you're going to want to go to percent app data. <coughs> then go to your roaming folder. <coughs> And then what you're going to want to do here, this is also very important, you're going to want to go to Organize, <clears throat> sorry I'm still sick, um, and go to Folder and Search Options, go to View, and then go to Show Hidden Files and Folders and Drives and hit Apply, then hit OK. Scroll down and if you see any in, um, application files, it will say here Application or Executable File or Installation Files or Config Files. Um, there should be anything down here, alright, so just get rid of all everything that's down here. I'm going to leave it, because um, I know what this stuff is, but just get rid of it if, if on your computer, okay? Um, once you do that, if it does not want to go away, like it says it's in a di different program, make sure you quit Skype, and if it still isn't doing that, start a task manager, and then you're going to want to match up um, the names here into in, on the task manager, and once you do that, um, you should be good to go. Um, then just end the task, and then, yeah, you should be good. So then what you're going to want to do is go down over here to Skype, and as you can see here, you're going to want to just delete, um, there, this one, Skies, I don't know what that is, so I'm just going to delete it, doesn't look important. Um, there might be an also, they like, and look for fake Skype things, um, so just open those up, just open, just delete the fake Skypes, and then, um, don't worry about that, but open up, um, if they look fake to you, like, this is what the Skype one should look like, but if it's any other Skype program, like, trying to make it look like Skype, then get rid of it. Um, then open up your Skype folder, delete these four folders, hit yes, now you're going to want to close this, go to your recycling bin, empty the recycling bin, and now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to run Malwarebytes anti-malware. I highly recommend you do this. This will get rid of it once and for all. Go perform a full system scan. Hit scan. Select your drives. I already have a couple, so. And then it will tell you where it is, and then restart. 
Once you restart, um, you should go download a new version of Skype. Um, <coughs> uh, Skype. And just download. <coughs> and then reinstall it. And you should be good to go. If it does come back, um, then just try to repeat this process. Um, try to boot into safe mode and do it from safe mode. Um, and if it still doesn't work, then please um, send me a message on YouTube or write a comment or something, and I will uh, try to get back to you. And uh, I will get back to you. So um, if you have any more problems, because this is a nasty little virus, and it's a keylogger. Um, so if you don't know what a keylogger is, it uh, manage it set it records everything you type. So everything I just typed, the guy would get. Um, but I don't have it anymore because I just did that. I just got rid of it. So, uh, yep. If you have any questions or concerns, um, it doesn't work for you, please let me know. Or anything like that, please let me know. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and check out my other videos.